Raquel is, um, she has uh, entered into the scene uh, via her engagement party to Victor Barrington, who is a man she'd been dating for eight years, who her family set her up with. Thank God she finds out that he's cheating on her at her engagement party. And so she breaks it off, obviously. My proud fiance was upstairs screwing another woman. The IRS has seized my assets, taken all of my money, because they want to question me about where Malcolm is, and when they did, I had no answers for them. So they're taking me through the ringer. This can still go away if you tell us where Malcolm is. All we want to do is question him. I don't know where. You know what? Spare me to mock ignorance. And let's talk deal. Now I need an attorney. Who does my friends call? My ex-boyfriend, Sean, that's a lawyer. I haven't seen him in years, and we had a very bad breakup. April in this episode is newly single, like she's freshly divorced off of the finale. She's learning that, okay, she didn't mean for her marriage to end. She didn't mean to cheat on her man. She did it. She ruined her life. Antonio is a very special person for Raquel. Um, she had her first time with him. She lost her virginity to him. And randomly, she takes the girls to go ride at the stables, and she runs into him, and it's a huge shock. This is where Raquel and Antonio, once they rekindled their flame in episode two, and kind of started seeing each other, into this episode, they do, they, they do, they do the damn thing. She wakes up, and he is reading a pamphlet. What are you doing? I'm um, uh, reminding myself about the 12 times. And he confesses that he's a sex addict and that she is unhealthy for him. Pearl has the task of getting an R&B singer played by Tony Rock. Hey, I got anything bigger than these? <gasps> she has the task of getting him to the Greek, basically. So she's got to babysit him. What are you doing with the bad boy of R&B? Trying to become the hottest promoter in Atlanta. I just booked Bobby at Club Elegance. The only thing is, he has a bad reputation for not showing up at his own concerts. I think what Malcolm and Keisha realizes is that they're friends. Malcolm and I didn't work out, and I'm cool with that. But I still regard him as a friend, and I always look out for my friends. Does Malcolm know your family is broke? Keisha has been, you know, hanging out with Sean, because he's been, you know, pretty persistent and pretty consistent in trying to get back in her life. But she's keeping it platonic the whole time. Sean has got his eyes on the prize. I really enjoyed hanging with you. Well, he keeps, you know, flirting and flirting and flirting and kind of going down memory lane and reminiscing about, you know, the good times. Oh, you cruising down memory lane and refuse to pull over, huh? I don't know why you won't join me. It's not a bad place. And it gets to a point where she weakens and they start to kiss. With Reggie, April is noticing, you know, all these women that he's dating and she doesn't approve of any of them. Of course, it's because she likes him, but he's not understanding that until finally she makes him understand. What's going on? I was worried. You didn't text me. I couldn't get you on the phone. I left messages. It's exactly that awkwardness when you really like somebody. And she opens the door and she sees him and he's right there and he's so close. She goes to kiss him thinking, you're here, you like me, you were worried about me. Okay, Malcolm, I'm here. What was so important we just had to talk tonight? When I saw you the other day, I suddenly realized just how much I'd missed you. He would like to, you know, be friends again and, and kind of like get back in her life. And so all is fine and dandy in Reggie April land. And that's when the storm comes. Wow, it's getting crazy out there. Yeah, our flight was canceled. Due to the storm and the cancellation of the trip, Reggie and April are stuck in very tight quarters. Damn, the tornado's close to my apartment. If it hits, I could lose everything. Well, if you did, you can move in with me. Oh, that's sweet. Actually, I think that would be fun. She really starts to, you know, kind of riff off that idea on her own. It's like, wow, we could do this, we could do that, and it's all about how they can move in together. And it's very clear that he's not there yet. He disappears in the middle of the tornado. He says he's going to the bathroom and he leaves. I can't find Reggie. He's not in the bathroom? Not in the bathroom, the store, anywhere. It's like, 
he's gone. Reggie just decides it would be better to face the storm than face April with um, a relationship that might be scaring him. Raquel and Charles, in an effort to go home and close her windows that she realized she left open, they get stuck in an elevator. Oh. Oh. Try to calm her down, he gives her a little kiss. And then that kiss leads to a major distraction for her, which is sex. They have this amazing quickie in the elevator, and Charles pops up with, I love you. Um, thank you? I've gone back with my ex-girlfriend. Charles ran into Padma, his first love of his life, and she wants him back and he's gonna go back. She still loves me. And I realized that I never stopped loving her. He believes Raquel just isn't there. And he thinks that he doesn't know and that Raquel doesn't know when she'll ever get there. I need to be with someone who's, who's sure. Well, at least you'll be with me in New York in one small way. So anytime that a guy really wants to show me he's sorry and he does something that proves it more than just I'm sorry, like something that embarrasses him or is cute or something, it's like, it, it just means more. Is that real? As real is how I feel about you. I guess persistence works because by the end of the episode, she takes him back. Reggie, I love you too. And I'll move to New York with you. Oh, what? <laughs> Exchanging the target on my back for a bikini sounds happening. And they're packed and they're ready to go. Bags are at the door, and she gets a phone call from Malcolm. Keisha, I need your help. I was arrested for a DUI, and you're my only call. I really need you to come get me. April decides to go to New York with Reggie, and um, I think there is a piece of her that is very scared to leave her friends, leave her home, I think she's afraid she's gonna uproot herself, and what if he acts a fool when she gets there? What if he just does his typical shenanigans? So, but she's willing to risk it. There's one more, a dinner invitation Ooh. from my mom. I, 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 don't, I don't know, Reggie. The mother stops the dinner to say that um, this is an intervention. Mom, what the hell is this? Please stop playing games with other people's lives and admit once and for all, Reggie, that you are gay. I love Charles, and I'm thrilled to be back in his life. But I need to be sure he's happy. And I can only do that if he makes an informed decision between us. But he's already chosen you. I'd feel better if he made that choice, knowing you love him too. The main of course, Raquel struggles with this, but by the end of the episode, she decides that that's what's best. And so she goes on a chase through Atlanta to find him. Charles! Antonio begins chasing after her through the city. Charles! She's chasing Charles, and Antonio's chasing Raquel. Raquel! And everybody wants to tell everybody that they love each other. Raquel reaches Charles at the end while he's with Padma and tells him, Charles, I love you. What I wanted was Keisha and Malcolm to end up together, which is really what happens? Keisha, I love you. I love you too. And I'm never letting you go again. Because Malcolm and Keisha's relationship of the roller coaster, and it's a relationship that so many people can relate to and are rooting for, that ultimately I'm glad that I get my man. The last shot is of them flying off in a helicopter and kind of deciding what they're going to do. Where are they going to go? Are they going to start a new life somewhere? Are they going to stay in Atlanta? Are they going to move away? We don't know.